What up gamers, I'm Jason and today on Dice and Dragons I'm going to be unboxing uh, some more content for Saban's Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. We've got the Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers pack, Villain pack number three, Legacy of Evil, and the Squat and Babu character pack. Not sure why it's a character pack, I believe because the Bulk and Skull one uh, was as well and this fits two characters, that's why they call it as such. Now, all of these components were part of Renegade Games' latest pre-order, well, not their latest, the one before that, uh, pre-order campaign for the game. This is the Once a Ranger component. So what you will be getting in the game is some new Power Rangers. You're getting uh, Adam, Rocky, Aisha, and Kat, uh, the replacements for some of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Now, they are available already in the game, but you only have their character cards. This gives you entirely new decks for the characters. We get some of the most famous villains with Divatox and Thrax taking on the boss role, as well as King Sphinx, Parantis Head, and Terror Toad. Then of course we have Squat and Babu, who for classic MMPR fans as myself, well, you just know exactly who they are. Sorry about that stuttering there, but MMPR isn't easy to get out all the time. Like the original game, you'll be taking on the roles of your favorite rangers and defending Angel Grove or some other locations because, you know, we have been expanding the game with places like KO35 from the villains. I think I've talked enough about the game and what's in these packs. Let's take a look at what's in all these boxes. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for Saban's Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, the Legendary Rangers pack. Forever Rangers. Been looking forward for this uh, arriving for a while. We've got just some promo. So here's a list of the components and a breakdown of what you're gonna get in the Legendary Ranger pack. Instructions how to integrate the expansion content, uh, new variant rule for basic attacks, and replacement rangers. So I'll tell you how you can swap out the decks. And then just rules for the Legendary Ranger mode. So that's pretty cool, as uh, you did get those before with to the Tommy pack, but uh, those are new. And then Alpha 5, as he's got two different uh, roles, you've got some new rules for him as well. Uh, previously, Alpha 5 was only available in the Kickstarter box. I did take off the tape of the uh, figures just and open up uh, some of the cards just to make them a little easier to uh, take out. So here we've got the new Red Ranger. Now this of course is not Jason. This Red Ranger figure is Rocky DeSantis. So he looks pretty cool. Uh, here we have Adam Park as the Black Ranger. The ax does seem to have a little bit less details than uh, the other power ax. Here is the new Alpha 5 figure. Looks pretty cool. We, of course, have Cat Hillard, the new Pink Ranger. And then our new Yellow Ranger, Aisha Campbell. So these, these characters replaced some of our favorites in the story, Trini, Jason, Kimberly, and, of course, Zack, as they went on to do different things. Now, we will be seeing... Well, red, black, and yellow again uh, as Jason, Trini, and Zack because the comic books have developed the Omega Rangers, which are being added to the game in the new Rangers United expansion. So let's take a look at what we have for the cards. Of course, we get the Blade Blasters, but I do like is we've got different uh, different cards. So instead of the Power Axe, these are now the, it's the Cosmic Cannon, Exploit Opening. So play this card when another ranger defeats an enemy card with an attack deal one damage to an enemy card adjacent to it. Pretty cool. Leapfrog Strike. While this card is the top card of your deck or of your discard pile, gain one energy each time you perform an attack. I like that. Cosmic Cannon. Let's go back and take a look at it. While this card is the top card of your discard pile, ignore the guard keywords when choosing targets for your attack. So it changes up the way that uh, the Black Ranger plays, but he does get the Power Axe, which is the same. I thought that was the changing it up, but I guess it's the other cards. So after rolling, choose two dice from this attack and deal that much damage to each enemy card adjacent to the target. So that's identical. Rapid Hit. 
have to resolve this attack, perform a second attack with one die while this card is the top card of your discard pile, add one die to each of the attacks. Well, we've taken a deep dive look at the Black Ranger cards. We're probably gonna take a little bit less of a deep dive look at the other colors, just because I wanna keep this unboxing moving. And when we do take a look at the components, I'll do more of a deep dive uh, for each of these when we get to the review of this uh, pack. Agile shot, two dice. When this card is revealed for defense, you might swap with a card from your hand. That's pretty cool. Blade Blasters, Cat's Grace. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's an attack, you may immediately play it and add one die to that attack. You may place this card to the bottom of your deck instead of discarding it. I do like that. Fancy Footwork is a cool reaction. Play this card when any ranger suffers damage to gain one energy. And then the ranger may look at the top two cards of the deck and put them back. Pretty cool. Power Bow, which is the same. Tai Chi Combo, look at the top two cards of your deck. Place each card on the top or bottom of your deck in any order. So we've got Rocky, Blade Blaster, the Haymaker. Add one die to this attack for each shield on top of your discard pile. So that's totally new. That's the mechanics, Power Sword. Risky moves, suffer up to three damage and another ranger may immediately play one card. It's an attack, add a number of dice. Equal to the amount of damage you suffered. Now that can combo with some of my favorite cards. I mean, just imagine doing that with uh, the Power Axe. Square up, play this card at the end of any turn in battle. If you suffer damage during this turn, you gain one energy and place it at the top of your deck. Oh, one die plus one. You can also get an extra shield if revealed for defense. Here we got the Blade Blaster, double up. Any ranger may search your deck and discard pile for two cards with the same name and add them to their hand, similar to Trini. A little different here, we got the Griffin Strike, referencing the Sunder Zords. After resolve this attack, you may draw one card. If you do, you may immediately play one card with an energy cost of zero. I like that. Power Daggers, which are identical. Snap Kick, add one die to this attack. If this card was not the first card you played this turn. Unstoppable Force, play this card when any ranger defeats an enemy card. Remove all excess hit tokens on that card and gain that much energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not sure I like that card, to be honest. I think I'd be leaving that in my deck a lot for defense. So here we've got the Alpha 5 card, so a new maneuver. Move any ranger from the command center to an outer location. <clears throat> if a battle is currently taking place in that location, that a ranger may immediately play a card. Pretty cool. Coordination. Plays this card before another ranger performs an attack. Add one die. That ranger may return that card to their hand instead of discarding it. Energy barrier to block three damage. Well, roll three dice and reduce some of the damage. Pretty cool. Then team effort. Play this card when any ranger plays an attack card with zero energy cost. And another ranger may immediately play a card. Pretty cool. And then Zord maintenance. Gain one energy and ready one exhausted Zord of your choice. So pretty cool stuff. I'm not sure how I like the alpha deck. Uh, we're going to lift this stuff out. This will just sit here off camera quickly while we take a look. That's what we got in the pack. So we do have some new cards. Rocky DeSantos, Mighty Morphin Red, Mighty Morphin Black, Cat Hillard, Agile, Aisha Campbell. Now I'm not sure if these match the ones that were included in the Kickstarter. I can't remember yet. So we'll take a quick look at them. Bravery, when you reveal a card for defense, that card will be placed on the bottom of your deck. You can add it to your hand instead. Adam Park, Adaptable, once per Battle, you may swap a card from your hand with the top card of your discard pile. Cat Hillard, when you suffer damage before revealing a card for defense, you can look at the top two cards, put them back in any order. I really like that. Momentum, once per battle, after you defeat an enemy card with an attack, gain one energy. Then Alpha 5 is the Servant of Zordon. While your figure is in the command center, you may participate in battles taking place in outer locations. If you do, you are not considered to be in the battle for purposes of enemy card effects. That's pretty neat. And then autonomous support, non-player variant. So similar to what we had in the Kickstarter. The start of each round, reveal a card from Alpha 5 deck to fill the row max three. Any ranger may discard one card from their hand to play an Alpha 5 card from the row. After resolving it, place it at the bottom of the Alpha 5 deck. So this is actually very different than what you get in the Kickstarter. So we've got some new Zords, Red Dragon Thunder Zord. Exhaust this card when any ranger performs an attack to add one die. Any ranger may discard one card to add another, add two more dice to the attack. That's really powerful. I'm loving these Thunder Zords so far. The Lion Thunder Zord exhausts a card during any ranger turn in battle. Defeat one foot soldier card instead of playing a card. I like that too. Firebird Thunder Zord exhausts this card. Shuffle any ranger's deck, then reveal the top card of their deck. Gain an amount of energy equal to the card's shield value. That's great for getting some more shared energy. 
Unicorn Thunder Zord, Exhaust Discard, choose a number of cards in the Ranger's discard pile for a total of up to four shields, and you place those on top of their respective Ranger's decks, like that. Griffin Thunder Zord, Exhaust Discard after any Ranger plays a card. That Ranger may immediately play another card with the same name and then draw a card, love that. Thunder Megazord, each time any Ranger performs an attack, they may reroll any number of dice ones. That's a really powerful one. And we got the Power Blaster, which we'll have to see about how to use uh, in the uh, battle, actually. Not quite sure exactly how, how it works. It's I guess this counts as a Zord. Uh, once per battle, once per Ranger turn in battle, any Ranger may discard a card to place one hit token on this card. Exhaust this card at the end of a battle, remove all hit tokens from it, and roll an equal number of dice, deal that much damage, divided as you choose. So it's a pretty cool way to power things up. Then we've got the Mega Tiger Zord, perfect for those that got the White Ranger. Exhaust this card to place the Mega Zord token in any location. At the end of each battle in that location, roll five dice, deal that much damage divided as you choose among enemy cards. I don't know if I like that one. I, at least when we're playing with six Rangers, we try to make sure we've cleared out all of the enemies. But we'll put everything back in the box. So there you have it. You've seen and. In more detail than I meant to, I know I said I was going to make it quick, but after checking the time, I realized this is sort of the meat and potatoes of the, the whole unboxing, so we really wanted to go into uh, these characters in detail. Uh, I can't forget this little lid, at least until I get everything sorted and placed into the main box. So there you have it. We've taken a look at the Legendary Rangers Forever Rangers pack. Now to keep with the theme of Mighty Morphin and some of the classic characters, we're going to take a look at the Squat and Babu villain pack next. Keep it right here. We'll be back in a flash. Now let's take a look at what's in the box for the Squat and Babu character pack. So we do get uh, some new rules. There was a promo sheet. I threw it out when I was uh, just taking the tape off the box before the unboxing. It's a little intro to the characters, list of components, uh, instructions for how to use paired monsters, which is pretty cool. I mean, you can pair them together or separately. So we do get the instructions how to summon the Zords and then the card clarifications that you'll get. Pretty cool stuff in terms of just how simple it all is to add and integrate into the game. So here we've got the miniature for Squat. Pretty cool looking. All these villain minis are rather large and you do get a fair bit of detail. Here we've got Babu, who's got quite a bit of detail on him. I think they do a really good job with this miniature and uh, it's one of the better ones. Let's take a look at the cards. So we get Squat, Blunderbuster, Guard. Each Ranger must roll two dice, deal three, da three damage to each Ranger for every zero result they roll. That's nasty. I have an idea. Each Ranger must draw three cards. That can be very nasty too. It's just drawing cards, but it goes into your hand, but you can empty your deck pretty bad, qu pretty quickly. I'm not reading that when this card is in play. The the effect text on all Ranger cards is ignored, so they only do damage based on the dice. Two Ranger must play a game of rock, paper, scissors, deal three damage to the winner and six damage to the loser. That's a little silly, but it's thematic with the two characters. Awful Alchemy, the Ranger with the most cards in their deck must guess the shield value of the top card, then discard it. They guess wrong, repeat this effect until they guess right or are defeated. Oof. That's fairly nasty as well. Pick your poison, drain two energy. The ranger who most recently drank something must discard either two cards from their hand or two cards from the top of your deck. See, once again, these are silly cards, but it's, it's thematic, but I don't know how well this one will work. I mean, eating and drinking it does happen most of the time we're playing a game, but fast and passive. Punk Potion, while this card is in play, rangers cannot use abilities or card effects to affect rangers other than themselves. I'm not sure how that, why that ended up uh, someplace else. So we got the scapegoat for Babu. Well, this, oh, sorry. Yeah, Babu, it's just, it's got squat featured. I got confused there for a second. So when this card is defeated, instead of discarding it, place it on the bottom of Babu's deck, then draw another card from Babu's deck to replace it in the combat sequence. 
that's annoying. Then we just get their monster cards, one for Squat, one for Babu, and one for them together. So there you have it, we've taken a look at what's in the box for the Squat and Babu character pack. Now, keep it right here, as we still got more content to take a look at from this Once a Ranger pledge, as we're gonna be opening up and taking a look at what's in the box for Villain Pack number three. Be back in a flash. Now we're gonna take a look at what's in the box for Villain Pack 3, Legacy of Evil. Really happy that we've got uh, some of the famous villains coming in with this one. So here we have our introduction, list of components, the three monsters and the two bosses, and some rules as to how to integrate them. And then there are some new rules such as stealing cards, and you got some replacement cards actually. So that's pretty cool. So we just have all the rules for that. We'll put uh, this off to the side. And let's see what we got here. I'm trying to remember the name of all these villains, and <laughs> I don't quite. So we'll take the cards out first, and then we'll take a look at the villains themselves. Well, they're miniatures. So here are the replacement cards that we have for Pudgy Pig and Rita Repulsa. So we'll just take a look at these quickly. So this is uh, new cards. So for I'm Hungry, discard two energy, and then each ranger must discard from their hand the card with the highest energy cost. When this card is defeated, each ranger may return one card from the discard pile to their hand. So that card was pretty nasty. I think that's a, an improvement, if I remember the original I'm Hungry correctly. Then Void Binding, deal five damage to the ranger with the most cards in their hand. That ranger must discard all but one card from their hand. Well, that's nasty and very powerful. Now, I'm not going to put these back in the box. I'm going to put them right with, uh, <laughs> right into the card box with the rest of uh, these villain cards. Let's take a look at the new stuff that we've got. And then as we go through the decks, we'll take a look at the villain miniatures at the same time. Now, we've got King Sphinx first. So we'll take a look at his cards. Deal four damage to each half of the rangers in this battle, round it up. So deal four damage each to half of the rangers. Uh, that's pretty nasty. Remove one ranger from this battle, move their figure to the next location clockwise. That ranger must discard their entire hand. You really don't want that to go off. Scepter Barrage, deal two damage to a single ranger four times. That's really nasty. It's got guard on it as well. Sphinx Slam, deal five damage to the ranger. Sorry, deal five damage. The ranger who suffers this damage must discard one Discard one card from their hand. And now we're on to Parantis Head. So let's take a look at the mini for King Sphinx. Solid, really like the feel of it. And it reminds me a little of the uh, Goldar miniature. So we've got uh, Parantis Head. I don't quite remember this uh, villain. So deal four damage to each ranger with at least one Zord card. If no, rain no Zord cards are in play, deal two damage to each ranger instead. Hijack attack, deal four damage to deal four damage each to half of the rangers in this battle, rounded up. Increase his damage by one for each Zord in play. You really don't want to have him come out when there's a lot of Zords in play. Powerful current. Exhaust all Zord cards in play. If one or fewer Zord cards were exhausted this way, deal three damage to each ranger. Uh, Zord lockdown. While this card is in play, rangers cannot use Zord abilities. Wow, that's pretty nasty. Then we move on to the Terror Toad. Let's take a look at Parantis Head. Very cool looking mini. Not a ton of detail on it, but uh, I really like the size of all of them. And I'm sure with a, a nice paint job, he'd look pretty cool. Now we've got the Terror Toad. Horn of Hunger. While this card is in play, each time a ranger attacks Terror Toad, steal the top two cards of their deck, shuffle those cards back into their decks when this card is defeated, or when the battle ends. Well, that's pretty nasty. Swallow Hole, steal four cards from the ranger with the most cards in their hand. Return those cards to that ranger's hand when this card is defeated or when the battle ends. Not too bad. Time to croak. Deal one damage to each ranger. Increase his damage by one for each combat card currently stolen by the Terror Toad. Oof. And then lastly, we've got Tongue Lash, deal, sorry, drain one energy, deal five damage, and then any cards discarded for defense are stolen instead. Return those cards to their discard pile when the card is defeated. So now we move on 
to the bosses. So let's take a look at the Terror Toad. Nasty guy stealing a lot of stuff. Pretty cool to have Diva Talks. I wonder if we're gonna get the Turbo Ranger soon as we only got one of them. So here she is. Looking all badass. We've got the Turbo Megazord here. So we've got Depth Charge. Well, this card is in play after each Ranger attack resolves. Deal one damage to that Ranger, increases damage by one for each miss roll during the attack. Oh, that's not too good. <laughs> not too cool for the Rangers. Roll one die on a zero result, drain three energy. On a single hit, deal three damage to each Ranger. On a double, you do both. Yeah, I don't want that to go off as well. Fire torpedoes. Two different Rangers, much each discard the bottom two cards of their deck. Pirate Queen. While this card is in play, all Foot Soldier cards gain the guard keyword and have plus one health. Oof. Viva La Diva. Deal four damage each to half of the Rangers in this battle rounded up. Increases damage by one for each Diva Tox card that has been defeated or discarded. And now we're on to Thrax. Who's a villain? I don't quite remember from the show, but he's got the Lord Zed staff. It's a little bit warped here, but overall still pretty good. Like the details. On the miniature and let's take a look at what we have for thrax curse of doom while this card is in play after each ranger combat card resolves deal three damage to that ranger that ranger may spend one energy to prevent the damage okay hideous blow deal four damage to the ranger with the most cards in their hand increases damage by one for each card in that ranger's hand Yeesh. eight health as well implosion wave drain three Energy, and then each ranger must either discard one random card from their hand or discard the top two cards of their deck. Not the worst. Now, here's a really nasty one. Lightning Beam deal 10 damage divided among the rangers as they choose. Still don't think he's as bad as uh, King Mondo there. Void Burst deals 6 damage to each ranger. Reduce the damage that each ranger suffers by one for each card in their discard pile. So you might be able to avoid a lot of that depending on where you're at in the game. In terms of what's in your deck and then we've got of course their cards so that they can be mixed in to the decks so there you have it we've now taken a look at all of the components and what's in the box for legacy of evil uh, the third villain pack so we've got one last thing to take a look at which is the scenario book and a few extra cards that were included in this round so keep it right here we'll be back in a flash. Now let's take a look at the last part of our unboxing. We've got the scenario book, some new Zord cards, and this is this nice like fan pack that was uh, added in. I won't be putting it back into this packaging actually. So we're just going to, uh, oh, one of these tokens ran away it looks like. Let's see what we've got. All right. So here we've got the List of everything that comes in the fan appreciation kit. Uh, the one scenario book, the two Megazord cards. We've got more Megazord tokens, which I think is definitely uh, appreciated actually. So as you can see, we've got SPD Megazord, Zeo Megazord, uh, the new uh, Ultra Zord, Dragon Zord in battle mode, Thunder Megazord, White Tiger Zord in battle mode. And then we've got the uh, Astral Voyager, and then here we it's the Hyperforce Megazord, I believe. We have some new player life tokens, some gift tokens, a patch tokens, and the Zeal Crystal tokens. I believe these are for some of the scenarios. And then uh, we do get some more divider labels. We actually still have a ton in our box, so I don't really think that we need them. But it's fun to have these tokens and does take up a little less space in the Megazord Mini, but I still love having, oh, it's not really a Mini, but I still love the Megazord Mini. I'll take a look at what we got for dividers, just some more stuff. Now, if you've sleeved the cards like I have, you're probably gonna be needing a, another box, but it's always nice to have a few more of the dividers. So, works out pretty well. Probably store these in the card box for now. Uh, with the uh, new Rangers United, I did order a second card box because the one that I have is already getting to be quite full. Uh, let's take a look at the two new Megazord cards that we got. Uh, left this out. This is just promo stuff. We can get rid of it. 
Okay, we have our two new, well, we won't need this. Uh, two new Megazords, so Titanus. Exhaust this card to deal two damage to an enemy card of your choice. Not that bad. The Ultra Zord, once per Ranger turn in battle, any Ranger may exhaust one Zord card to deal three damage to an enemy card that has resolved. So that's pretty cool. You can constantly, once per Ranger turn, yeah, so you can constantly just keep hitting at the enemies that have damaged you, which I think is really cool. And here we've got the scenario book, which I had been printing out the scenarios, but happy to have it as like an actual book now. I think that's just really cool. So we've got all the different scenarios. It goes all the way up to scenario number 12, Rangers Reforged. I'm wondering if I have some that uh, aren't in this book. So I they've kept putting them out, but it's definitely a nice addition and I feel like you just get some of the art, good quality, like the cover. So it's a really cool fan appreciation kit and very happy to have it as part of the collection. So there you have it. We've taken a look at all the components for this round of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Heroes of the Grids expansions. So keep it right here as I'll be coming back at you with a quick outro. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that like button, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when our next video is released. Also down below in the video description, you'll find links to all of our social media feeds, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. If you would like to see pictures of Julie and I playing Saban's Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid, there are plenty on those feeds. When we get these packs to the table, there'll be plenty of pictures of them also, and then down below as well is our link to multizone.ca. So if you're looking for a copy of Heroes of the Grid, check them out, click the link, you'll get 10% off your next purchase. And it's a great way for you to support the channel because that purchase is returned to us. Now popping up in front of me are gonna be links to some of our previously released videos. Over here will be our most recent release. And over here, it will take you back to our original video our review on how to play of Saban's Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid. With that being said, don't forget, keep playing games.